Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Codis Arcade once again. In this tutorial, I will be talking about one very important concept in Selenium which is the Selenium IDE. Before starting this video, I would like to request all of you who are watching this video to please like our videos, share it with your friends and family and also don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you. So let's get started. As I told, today's topic is about the Selenium IDE. So what is the Selenium IDE? Let's go to the PPT. Okay, I prepared a simple PPT so that people can understand about what is actually the Selenium IDE. Okay, so let us start it. Okay, so Selenium IDE is actually a tool which is used to develop Selenium test cases. Okay, as you can see here, it was originally created by Shinya Kasatani and it was then donated to the Selenium project in the year 2006. This questions are very frequently asked in Selenium interviews, even to advanced or experienced students and also to professors. So you should be aware of this kind of questions. So the Selenium ID is actually a tool which is used to record and play and pause the automation test cases. Okay. So earlier it was only available as a Firefox extension, but now it is available for Chrome and Edge browsers as well. Okay. It is simply a record and playback tool as you can see here. It is just a record and playback tool used to perform Selenium tests. Okay. So anybody who is trying to start with automation with Selenium, this is one of the best tools or IDEs to start with the syntax of Selenium. Okay. As you can see here, it supports Java, C Sharp, Python, PHP, Perl, and many unit test frameworks like JUnit, TestNG, etc. Okay. So anybody out of you who is willing to start a career in automation with Selenium, you can start with Selenium ID and then you can go on to other IDs and start with automation in proper writing test cases. Okay. So as you can see here, it is an excellent way of learning Selenium scripts syntax. Okay. Let's go to the next slide. So in order to install Selenium IDE, we are, can find it as an extension in Firefox or Chrome. So we have to go to this particular URL as you can see here. So I will share you this thing. Don't worry, I will share everything in the description so that you don't find any problem while installing it. And you can see here, we have either to select Chrome or Firefox or Edge from the options and then after you have successfully added the extension, it will look something like this. This is the Selenium IDE and here you can record a new test. You can open an existing project. You can create a new project or this is the close button. Okay. So after you have added the extension, it will look something like this. Okay. So let's go to the next one. Let's discuss some features of the Selenium IDE, which is very, very important. As I told you earlier, it is a record and playback tool. So we can record our actions that we perform in the browser on a particular web page. Okay. Then we can easily identify the IDs, the experts. And the debugging is very easy on that. We can save the test cases in different formats. As you can see here, it can be Java, HTML, Ruby, or any other scripts supported by Selenium. Okay. And the commands and the syntax are very easy to understand. As you can see here. It becomes very easy when you start with the Selenium ID. Then afterwards, when you write the test cases, you will get a brief idea of what you are actually doing. We will talk about that when we actually are writing the test cases. Okay, don't need to worry about that. Okay, and we can also control the speed of the execution. There is a icon with the help of which you can control the speed. Okay, and we can either run a single test or we can run an entire suit. Okay. And we can also put breakpoints for easy debugging. So these are the features. Okay. And if you want to know more about the Selenium IDE, you can simply visit this website for learning more about the IDE. www.selenium.dev Selenium IDE. Okay. So that's it guys. Let us go to the browser and see how we can install and get started with the Selenium IDE. Okay. So as I told you in this slide, 
let's go to this url Uh, let's open it in Google. Okay, you can see I am inside my Google Chrome browser and I have opened the URL selenium.dev slash downloads. I will go to the Selenium IDE section as you can see here and I will click on Chrome. Okay, and now you can see I am getting this option. Actually, I had this before, I have removed it just to show you how you have to add it to the Chrome browser. Okay, you can add it to Firefox also or Edge also. I prefer Chrome, so I'm adding it to my Chrome. Okay, so I'll, I'll just add it to my Chrome by clicking on this button here. Okay, it's asking me for the permission, so I will say add extension. Okay, you can see it has been added, and if you want to remove it again, you can just click on this remove from Chrome option and it will be removed. Okay. So now let's go here in this extensions button and go to Selenium ID. I'm clicking on this to see here. See, this is how the Selenium ID looks like. And here, just because it is a fresh one, what I will do is I will create a new project. Click on this and let me say first IDE test. Okay, click on OK. And then here you can pass any URL and you can start working on with the URL. Okay. See, let me just guide you through all the sections of this. So here you can create a test. So I will just click on this plus button and I will click a new test, say first test. Okay, and I click on add. Here you can see. This is my first test case. What I can do is here you can see this option tells you or helps you to slow down or fasten the execution speed of the test cases. Okay, so I will keep it in medium so that you can see all the things that are happening. Now, the base thing that you want to do is you have to pass the URL. So, HTTP colon double forward slash www.selenium.dev this is the url that i am going to automate here right now so that's all here we have to do now we can just click on record button here and it, you can see what happens right now okay so i'll just click on record now see it automatically opens selenium.dev let me maximize this you will see all these things are recorded there and it will do all the tasks for me. So, okay, let me do some actions in the browser right now. I will go to downloads, I will go to documentation, I will go to projects, I will go back to the home page, and let me go to blog. Let me just scroll down a bit. Okay, let me again go back to the home page. Okay, so after that, finally, let me close the browser. Okay. Let me stop the recording by clicking on this button here. You can see here, right? I'm cl clicking this, it's stopping the recording. Okay. Now, whatever I did on the browser, all the actions have been recorded here. Can you see? Command, target, and the values. Okay. The open command has opened the selenium.dev URL. And you can see I maximized the window, right? That was also recorded here. Set window size. And I clicked on some elements, those are recorded here as well. And finally, I closed the browser. So, this is how it is done, guys. You can see here. And now, if you want to again play the recording, you have the play button here. If I run this, you just see what happens. See, it will maximize the browser, it will do all the actions that I have done before, and finally, it will close the browser. I did some scrolling also. See, it will do all that. You can see here, it will do the scrolling and also it closed the browser. So, this is how you can actually perform record and playback in the Selenium ID. I hope you guys have understood this. Now, in the next section, I will show you how you can actually download that particular test case in your particular language that you are learning. Okay.
So here, if you see, if I click on these three dots, I have an option called export. Okay. So you are getting so many options here. See, Java JUnit, JavaScript, Python, Ruby. Depending on which programming language you are proficient in, you can just select that language and you can export that particular test case. So I will just click on export. Let's see what happens now. It's already Java right now. Now you can see. Let me go to desktop and I will just save this. Okay. Let me save this here. You can see the test case name is first test case test dot Java. I can save it with any other name as well. Let it be like that. I don't want to change it. So just save it here. Okay, it has been saved now. So right now, let me just minimize the Selenium ID and this browser as well. Okay. Here you can see in my desktop, this is the first test case. So right click and if I open with Notepad. Let's see what we get here. See, this is the particular test case that we have worked on. Okay. Now, guys, this becomes very easy to understand. Now, this is a Java code where you have used the Selenium web driver. Can you see here? So, these are all the actions that we did there. Can you see? This is the dimension. This is the element that we clicked. Dot click. You can see these methods are there. We have clicked on particular elements on that selenium.dev website, right? So all these things were done and finally the driver was closed or the browser was closed. So now you can easily start with your automation test case writing. Okay. This is the best advantage of using the Selenium ID. Okay. I'll close this. And let us go back to my ID here. Okay. So you can either export it into any other option as well. If I show you here. Java, you can also export it in a Python format or Python language. You can export it in Ruby also. So everything is possible here. So this is the best advantage of the Selenium ID. I suggest anyone who is starting with automation, you should start with the Selenium ID, guys. This is must and should for you people. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you have understood this. Let me close this. And if you really like this video, I want you people to please share your comments in the comment section. And also, if you really love this video, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel as well. And click on the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you. This is Saurabh signing off. Bye-bye.